they are unique. Visually stunning. Intricate sculptures made in glass. The creation of Bristol artist Luke Jerram. I'm interested in exploring the edges of our senses. Uh, and by that I mean the sort of the borders and the limitations of, of what we can perceive. What I find is when I speak with scientists is that they're interested in how the world works and, and in phenomena and in exploring the world. And, and as an artist, I'm, exact, I'm interested in exactly the same thing. That shared interest has led Luke to create what look like abstracts but are actually detailed representations of something very real. These are viruses. The reaction to the work has been, has been quite amazing. They're obviously incredibly beautiful, so people are automatically kind of attracted to things of beauty. But when they realise actually what they are, there's that element of sort of repulsion. Some people feel that they might get infected if they touch them, which is quite nice. But I've also had you know, emails from people suffering from HIV who've said that by looking at the artworks you've made, it's given me an appreciation of, of the viruses that are actually inside my body. I think the fact that they're very beautiful and they're very deadly creates this, this tension, and that tension it has a power to it. The sculptures are a combination of uh, looking at diagrams of, of, of viruses, but also looking at the imagery through an electron microscope. And by w speaking with a, uh, a virologist, I can ask them, you know, uh, what does this part actually look like? How does it work? And sometimes they don't know. That's quite interesting. So right at the kind of cutting edge of, of science, viruses are just so incredibly small. It's right at the, the limitations of, of what science is capable of, of looking at.